Because I didn't miss you. Sir, um, I think my gun broke. Don't worry, kid. I got this covered. Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I once killed a clear with a nail clipper. These things, are they? Yep. Processed. Gilman's turned into cannon fodder for Mitzel's Ward. Cute, aren't they? How... how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. You can also take out the canar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. Remember, kid, belchers explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Hmm. Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. According to the briefing, we should head this way. Sir, if I remember correctly, the map in the mission briefing showed an EDF storage facility just over this wall. 
Huh. Maybe I should start reading that stuff. Sir, um, I still don't have a gun, so please hurry up. This is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communications with the EDF. Lord Ackerman, Mental's chief lackey in Europe, continues being a dickhead, so that's not Hold on.
done now? You know, it's funny, but usually when I pick up one of these things... Ah, there they are. calling it random like that? I think he just gets bored. The gate's open now. Ship sucks you up, spits out a tentacle brain killing machine. I guess mental's really into recycling. Signal from Father Mikhail. I'll upload the coordinates. Tierna Trixa. All right. One ecclesiastical extraction coming right up. Ecclesiastical extraction? Good one.
Sir, I think that's it for now. Recognize that thing? It's a scrapjack. Let me take it apart so you can have a closer look. Father Mikhail, I presume. I thought there was supposed to be convoy. I am the convoy. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hellfire, we're ready for extraction. I'm picking up Rodriguez and Jones at the Piazza della Repubblica. Meet me there? It's a date. Father, grab your stuff. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I have my shotgun and my faith, son. I am already packed.
Russia to find the Holy Grail? Yes. Technically, like Catholicism, Holy Grail is heretical. But this is no time for dogma. Each must do all he can to save planet. An update on the Tunguska Offensive. As previously reported, the EDF front has been pushed back. Is that a giant metal space snake? Yep. Oh, I see. Good. That's good. And now, for a short editorial. Who is Lord Ackerman? He's pretty evil, that much is clear, but he is... Ah, you have found a Syrian artifact of might. I theorize. That the cloud of nanoparticles contained within can grant powerful new skills. However, the human brain may not be... You inhaled it, didn't you? Yep. Uh, of course you did.
the shotgun can you shoot and I'll pray as you wish <laughs> welcome to Rome friend how do you like it love the food hate the traffic traffic <laughs> well my convoy got blown up uh, stay back there before the war <clears throat> This is also his hobby. You have the shotgun. Can you shoot and I'll pray? As you wish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> benvenuto! Welcome to Rome, friend! How do you like it? Love the food, hate the 
traffic. Well, my convoy got blown up. Uh, still better than before, the war. This is also his hobby. That's what I call raising the roof. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I think we have been fighting every day since the city was invaded. We... Massimo. Massimo! No! He... He is dead. Sorry. I saw him fight. He was a real badass. But how... How can he be dead? He is Massimo Murena, the hero of the Italian resistance, the spirit of Roma. Is that really how his story ends? It does not seem right. <sighs> we never get to retire, do we? What's your name? Paolo. Nope. Your name is Massimo Murena. It is? Yep, that's you. Massimo Morena, hero of the Italian resistance, got it? But... who died? Some guy called Paolo, just a brave, ordinary Roman. But Massimo Morena will take revenge, won't he? I... Uh, it's what he would have wanted. Take this, my friend. A gift from Massimo Morena.
I hope you were successful, my son. You win some, you lose some. Can't tell which one this was. to consider the subject of hope. Is an intellectual anomaly common in the lower species. A primitive belief that somehow, against all odds, the inevitable can be averted. This self delusion. I sense evil presence. Is your priest sense tingling? No. I just see pale corpses and floating objects. Sir, it's an organ hemovore. It's a fucking vampire, Kenny. Let's go up here, son. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're about to have company. Made stairway to heaven joke. You are forgiven, Father. Oh, wow! What a lovely view! Planet Earth, baby! There's no place like it.
message from Lord Agraman. Today, I would like to urge you to consider the subject of hope. You sons of bitches! I'll fuck metal! I'll fuck your whole army! Come at me, you alien pendejos! You want Mexican? I got Mexican! You want American? I got American! Y'all wanna bite me? Come get your Chile con carne! What he said. Sam, nice to see you in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Never been so glad to see your ugly face, cabron. Hey, where's the rookie? I really wish I had a gun! Catch! Oh, I, I lost my shoe. Nice shot! Crap, one-liner, though. I wasn't trying to do a one-liner. I lost my shoe? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. You should've said surprise. Just as you turned around, that would've been sweet. I was just trying to survive. I wasn't- This is triple A, boy. You gotta survive with style. Gee, a good one-liner would- Later, this looks like a combat situation. that God turns all things to good. Although personally, I prefer things which are good to begin. So Kenny, you should have gone for an eye joke. Always good with Gnar. I see you. I bet you didn't see that coming. for you. Ragnarok! 
That does not work. Better than I lost my shoe. I lost my shoe. Get my even smaller guy. Rodriguez, cut him some slack. He's new. He'll learn. Time to break out the big guns. What? The minigun? But that's Hellfires. You know what she's like about people taking her stuff. Nah. She won't mind if I take it.
Barnes is an ex-snake. Technically speaking, it's an ex-basilisk. Shut up, Rodriguez! Did you miss me? You're right on time. Hey, Carter, what's new? Did you know this exact same model of bus was used in the assassination attempt on the Italian Prime Minister's personal ufologist in 2052? Now, most people say it was the Illuminati, but I'm pretty sure it was the CIA. Your tax money at work. Why did I even ask? Ladies and gentlemen, the express bus to anywhere but here is now departing. Want me to drive? I don't trust your driving, Stone. Remember what happened in Oslo? Hey, that nun came out of nowhere. You know what's funny? Today's my birthday. Damn, I didn't get you a present. Valley of Bones. And the Lord said to him, Can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, O oh Lord, they will obey your commands. And that's how you do it. Thank you for rescuing me, friends. You're welcome, Father. But we still need to get you into the Vatican Library. All right, team. Give me some options. Rome's sealed tighter than a virgin's buttocks. Uh, sorry, Padre. Um, uh, wheels are out. Hellfire, what about wings? No way! It's like the annual Octanian Raider convention up there. Fräulein Hellfire is correct. Unless Vesuvius were to erupt, enemy control of the airspace will remain absolute. Yes, yes, that's it! But we'll use Vesuvius, just like in 2010, when they used HARP to trigger that volcano in Iceland and brought down all air traffic in Europe to stop the Illuminati from getting out of Belgium! Ridiculous! The HARP is the high-frequency active auroral research program. It is not an earthquake machine. Oh, well, that's what they want you to think. Nonsense! I would know about such a device. Actually, it is an earthquake machine. Verdammt! Uh, wait, I'm right? Yes, I knew it! And now he'll never shut up. Thanks. We called it Project Rock and Roll. A powerful experimental <laughs> weapon designed to provoke seismic activity. It hasn't been used in years. But I've got the access codes. But sir, the targeting system is down. 
We need to manually place beacons to realign the satellite. Then the team just won an all expenses paid trip to beautiful Pompeii. It's crazy. It's impossible. I love it. Let's do it. Sam, I need the team to place eight beacons. I've uploaded the target locations to your Nitrix app. Okay, guys. All we need to do is take these doodads to their designated locations. Rodriguez, you go north. Kenny, west. Jones, do the stadium. I'll take care of the south. And you know the drill. Last one back pays for drinks tonight. Yep. On it. Moving out. <sighs> I'll be in the car.
Why do I keep running into locked doors? Bad luck. You're always going the wrong way. Doors hate you? Increased security in war zones? I am I the only one who knows you shouldn't answer a rhetorical question? <laughs> no, sir, I... Oh. Guess what I found? More rhetorical questions? with you all clear that was me killing a clear by the way see rookie that's how you do a one line and he didn't even lose his shoe
status update. I'm okay. I'm more than okay. All good. Well, a horde of clear attacked the car, but now I'm bored.
Rodriguez, shut up. As you know, it's been hard to get any news out of France after the comms network collapsed during the Battle of Paris. But... <laughs> We're being told that the bulk of Lord Ackermann's troops is starting to move out of the capital, presumably to aid the forces occupying the south. <laughs> to find food and clean water. EDF relief efforts are underway, but hampered by the <laughs> The presence of an Octanian harvest <laughs> This is either the world's worst nosebleed or something I should look into.
Sorry. Hey, dude. Your war's over, but mine's still going.